Didismo offers organizations robust authentication and authorization processes to ensure the highest level of security with high flexibility of SSO integration with several identity access management services including One Login. One Login is an identity access management IAM, system, allowing you to perform single sign-on for all your web and mobile applications. The service offers a full-featured federation engine and a flexible access policy. A user can log in with a single ID to gain access to connected systems without being prompted to enter different usernames or passwords. Vidismo allows you to utilize your one login for facilitating your portal users with single sign-on SSO capabilities. Vidismo makes the integration as easy as enabling or disabling your one login SSO from within the platform in minutes. Let's look at setting up single sign-on using one login. Single Sign-On SSO is a user authentication process that allows your users to sign in to multiple applications using the same set of login credentials. This allows ease of use for the end users and ease of management for administrators. The manager and administrator roles of the portal can allow users to access their portal using one login credentials. Go to the link stated on the screen and click on Login. From the login screen, enter your email address and password and click on login to proceed. Once you are successfully logged in, you need to copy the URL on the address bar which shall be like the one stated on the screen. Copy the part of the URL before home and append OIDC to it. Shall be like the one stated on the screen. By the way, this URL will later be needed as authority URL when configuring the One Login app in Vidismo portal. From the top menu bar navigation, hover on Applications and select Applications from the drop-down menu. Now click on Add App from the Company app screen. You will then be redirected to the Find Applications screen. In the search box, type Open ID Connect to list all the related applications. From the list of search results, select Open ID Connect OIDC. Clicking on the Open ID Connect OIDC will open its info screen. Enter a display name for your application in one login and click on the Save button to add the application. By the way, to upload an icon for your app, select from either the rectangle or the square, depending upon the shape of your icon. The next tab is the Configuration tab, here you are required to list the redirect URL. To map user data with Vidismo, some parameters need to be defined in one login. Click on the Parameters tab and click on the radio button to select Configured by Admin. Now click on the Add Parameter link to start adding parameters to map with your application. A new field pop-up window will appear. Here you need to enter the field name of the parameter. As soon as you add a field name, the value field appears where you can select the available options from the drop-down menu to map with the field name. Now click on the Save button to proceed and add the parameter. The new parameter is now added successfully, and will show up in the table with the rest of the parameters. Now, repeat the steps to add other parameters and their values for one login, such as, user first name with its value first name, user last name with its value last name, user email with its value email, primary SID with its value user principal name, and groups with its value member of, to communicate successfully. Once the parameters have been defined, click on the SSO tab. You will need the client ID and the client secret when configuring SSO in your Vidismo portal. The client ID generates automatically at this stage. Copy it using the clipboard icon against the ID. Now click on the Regenerate Client Secret link to generate the client secret and then copy it for later use. You need to make sure to select the authentication method as post from the drop-down menu. Click Save to complete configuring your app. From the portal's homepage, click on the navigation menu on the top left corner and select Portal Settings under Admin. From the Portal Settings page, expand the Apps tab on the left-hand panel and click on Single Sign-On. 
Locate the One Login app on the screen and click on the settings icon at the right hand side and a new window will appear. One Login settings screen offers various fields. The Client ID attribute is the unique identifier for the client application that was created in the section earlier and Client Secret is used for accessing groups in your identity provider. Authority is the OIDC application homepage URL that you copied from the address bar earlier. In the SSO Login Message tab, you can set a message that will be visible to all users above the Login button via one Login SSO provider. This is useful when you have configured multiple SSO providers for different users and groups. From the Force Login tab, you need to select the checkbox to enable Forced Login and it will take you directly to OneLogin. When unchecked, it will not redirect automatically to OneLogin and you will be needed to sign in through your portal sign-in screen. Requires HTTPS Metadata checkbox can be selected to get the metadata. When the request is handled for the first time, it tries to retrieve some metadata from the authorization server. This metadata, or discovery document in OpenID Connect terminology, contains the public keys and other details needed to validate tokens. Callback path specifies the callback location where the authorization will be sent to your portal. Scope determines a space-delimited list of scopes. OpenID Connect uses scope values to specify what access privileges are being requested for access tokens. The scopes associated with access tokens determine which claims are available when they are used to access the OIDC or user info endpoint. The supported scopes include open ID, profile, email, phone, groups, etc. Response type specifies the response type for OIDC authentication. Any combination of code, token, and ID token is used and is an opaque value that can be used to redeem tokens from the token endpoint. In this video, we will use the code type. The code is returned if the response type includes code. By the way, the code has a lifetime of 60 seconds. Select Save Tokens to save the tokens. You need administrator privileges to save the tokens. API tokens have the same permissions as the user who creates them, and if the user permissions change, the API token permissions will also change. Get claims from user info endpoint option returns claims about the authenticated end user if the user info endpoint claims need to be obtained implicitly. Attribute mapping allows you to map your attributes with one login attributes. Once you're done, click on save changes and a notification will appear stating portal information updated successfully. Now, toggle the gear button at the right side of one login to enable one login single sign on. Now, navigate to the portal's login screen and you can see the option login with one login. Well, that's all for this video. Check out some of our other guides to learn more about Vidismo. Stay tuned until next time.